Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on sorting our Django objects within the Django admin by utilizing the Django admin sortable library. So as you can see here in this demonstration, we'll learn how we can sort these objects into the locations that we prefer. So let's go on ahead and get started and learn how to make use of this library. Now, before we dive into the installation guide and set everything up, I would recommend that you have a simple Django project ready and up and running that you want to utilize. So as you can see, I have a simple one here up and running, and I also have it active within my um, IDE here in Visual Studio Code with my project files loaded and set into place. So make sure you have a project to which you want to apply this um, sortable functionality towards within your Django project. So that's the first thing you need to do. All right, so assuming you've got that all set up and ready to go, let's get started. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the Django admin sortable two library within our Django project. So we can go ahead and copy the following and you can head on over to your command prompt and you just want to install the Django admin sortable library within your project. So let's go ahead and do just that. All right, so as you can see, I already have it set up and installed, so that's perfect. The next thing that we need to do is we need to configure the admin sortable to app within our list of installed apps as we can see here. Now in terms of the provision position, um, you can add it right at the bottom here of your list of installed apps. You don't need to add it above any of the default Django apps here. So we aren't going to override any of that logic. So it's going to work quite seamlessly. So what we can do is we can go ahead and copy the admin sortable to app here from this list. Then we can navigate to our settings.py file of our Django project. After which, navigate to your list of installed apps. And all that you want to do is you want to go on ahead and you want to just paste in that particular app here, which is admin sortable 2, right at the bottom here of your list of installed apps. Very important that you do that. Right, perfect. So we've got the basic installation set up and the configuration. Now what we want to do is we want to move on to the next step and that's going to be focusing on the other sections which are going to be based on how we can actually use um, Django Admin Sortable. So we can go ahead and click on using Admin Sortable and we're going to prepare our model classes. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now what you want to make sure in your Django project is that you have a Django app to which you want to work with. So here I have a Django app here called web app and I've already configured um, web app with my list of installed apps here. So make sure that you've got a Django app that you can use and that's because we want to make use of our models.py file so that we can continue with the process. So what you want to do then is open up the Django app that you created. I have web app here and you want to navigate to your models.py file so you can open that up. And I'd also recommend you also open up an, your admin.py file as well. Okay, so I already have a simple model here that I've created, but we're going to do it from scratch and together. So let's go ahead and just uh, scroll down. Okay, and we're going to create our very own model. So let's have a look here at the guide here. So let's prepare our model class. So as you can see here, we are given a simple model here, which is based on sorting books as a sample here. It has a title attribute and also a my order attribute. And that is going to be needed in terms of adding in this functionality to sort our objects within our given model, because we need to make sure that we have ordering enabled so that we can order these um, objects accordingly. So as you can see here, in terms of everything to be working properly, we are going to have to make sure that we have gone ahead and set up the relevant fields here, at least um, the recommended ones, so that we'll be able to move around our attribute slash fields. So what you can do is you can go ahead and copy the following right here, this code, and you can just go to your models.py file and paste the following in. So here, let me zoom out here. As you can see, we have a model here, which is going to be on our book. We have our title attribute and our order um, attribute here as well. And we've also set up ordering on this particular attribute as well. Okay, so this is important so that we'll be able to um, 
tell our Django application the starting order of our object so that we'll be able to sort it um, when we configure that in our admin.py file. So this is a basic model that you'll need. Of course, as we can see here, there is some uh, additional fields that you can add in which you can switch around but I'd recommend going for the recommended fields here if you want to make sure you have um, the sort functionality working properly as we can see. Okay so let's go ahead and make these migrations for this particular model. So what you can do is you can say python manage.py and you just want to say make migrations. Okay, so it's created that model sortable book. Then you want to push this particular model to your database. So you can say Python manage.py migrate. And there we go, we've migrated that particular model and it's all good and set to go. All right, so perfect. Now we want to register this particular model in our admin.py file. Now it comes from our models.py file and it's called sortable book. So we first want to just import that. So in our admin.py file, I already have here from models import customer. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to right next to that, just go on ahead and import sortable book. So we can just go ahead and copy the following and put it right next to it. So you want to make sure you import that model in your admin.py file, which is of course going to be situated in the same directory as where your models.py file is. So make sure you've imported that uh, accordingly here. All right, so there we have it. Okay, now what we wanna do is we want to actually make our list view sortable. And that is going to allow us to be able to see a list here of all of our objects and be able to move them by just dragging them around and just sorting them as we so desire. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a custom um, admin class here. As we can see, it will be named sortable book admin. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to have to import the custom sortable admin mix in here from the admin sortable to admin um, app. So what we're going to have to do is just go ahead and add in the following. So let's go ahead and do that. So we just want to add in that mix in. So we add it up right here to the top. Um, we also need to import the model to which we want to utilize. So here, as you can see, it is sortable book, but we already have that imported here from our models.py file here already. So we don't need to go ahead and do anything like that. Then what we need to do is we need to register our uh, model and we also need to go on ahead and create a custom admin class here so that we can implement the mixin and allow us to actually go on ahead and register this particular model. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go ahead and copy the following and we can paste it in here. So as you can see here, it uses a decorator which is going to automatically register our model unlike the previous version, which is limited just to register a model. So we're going to use a decorator here. We're also going to create here a custom admin class here called sortable book admin, which takes in the mix in here from the admin sortable to admin app, which essentially is going to allow us to utilize the functionality for sorting our objects. Admin.model uh, admin .model admin, of course, is the default uh, model admin class that we need to add in here that we need to inherit so that we can go on ahead and make use of a custom admin class. For the time being, we're just passing through the pass keyword, so we're not going to add anything just yet. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Let's go ahead and continue with uh, what we need next. So as we scroll down here, the next thing that I would recommend you do is to set up your list displays just so we can list our, um, how would I say, our attributes accordingly here. So as we can see here in our models.py file, we have a title attribute and a, a my order attribute. So we just wanted to make sure that we display that in a list form. So what we can do is we can just remove pass here and we can just say list underscore display equals and here in a tuple i'd recommend you use a tuple instead of a list here we have of course you can see title and my underscore order so what you want to do is put in title first and then you want to put in my underscore order all right 
So we have that all configured. Now let's go ahead and set up our super user and sign into the Django admin and test this all out. So now what you can do is you can just go on ahead and say python manage.py create super user. Okay, I'm going to leave it at Arno, skip the email, put in a password, enter in the password again, and let's run the server. There we go. So now let's go to our application and forward slash admin. Now, all you want to do now is enter in your credentials. So let's go ahead and do just that. Right, so as you can see here, our super user credentials are in place. So let's go ahead and log into the Django admin. And as you can see here, we have our sortable book model here in place. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So let's go to sortable book and let's add in a few books. So I'm just going to add in some titles. So here I'm just going to say um, my favorite book and enter to save it. So here I have one book here. Let's add in another book. Let's say um, uh, a book on tourism. Add another book. Let's say um, memoirs from a post. Add in a few more. Let's say learning Django. Let's say learning AWS. And let's say general IT trends in society. All right, so we've added in a few objects now. Now let's go ahead and test to see if this actually works. So let's say we don't like the order here that our objects are situated within. Let's say we want to change the order. As you can see here, we have this my order field now. And we also have this section here to which we can grab on as you can see the icon here to actually move these particular objects so let's go ahead and move this around let's move the learning and the general it trends in society to the top so let's do that so i move Django to the top there we go it works learning aws general um, it trends in society so that's one way in which you can move your objects so let's say you want to move a whole bunch let's say we want to move my favorite book a book on tourism and memoirs from a past right up top but we don't want to ma individually move it let's say we can go on ahead and click on all three and then we just need to click in any area within the highlighted area and we can just move them all at once right to the top and there you go they're right here on the top so you can of course drag multiple items in one shot as you so desire, or you can individually also go on ahead and just click them one by one and move them as you so desire. But as you can see here, we've got everything in place. Now, let me show you the memory aspect here. So let's say we put learning Django at top and AWS here at the top, and we keep these two here. So Django and AWS. Let's uh, go on out, let's uh, just refresh, and let's log out. I say log in again and let's go ahead and restart the server. So remember, of course, we had Django and AWS up top. Server's in place. Now let's go ahead and enter in our super user credentials yet again. Right, so let's log in now. Okay, we can go to sortable book. And as you can see now, everything is still in the same order, so it hasn't changed. So that order, as you can see, is now in place as we left it. Right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. So that is how you can sort your objects within your models in Django. Right, guys, so that's it. And as always, thank you for the support, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.